I haven't done one of these in a while. Like a super aggressive super blitz. But the time has come. So the goal for the next about one hour is to play super aggressively. Hopefully get in like mostly gambits. I'll gambit when it's possible. Hopefully I can keep my 2600 rating. Maybe call some ambulances. Hopefully not for me though. Thanks everyone for the energy. Appreciate it. Lul Bryce. Happy five months. And Mimo Manas. The six months. Good to see a lot of energy in chat. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Agronak. And to Gensh as well, requesting Ponziani. I think Ponziani is aggressive enough to possibly play in this tournament. Yeah, we do have a few commands. Uh, there is a podcast command. I recently had a two-hour conversation slash, slash interview with uh, Grandmaster Avati Gregorian. And I think it was a it was a fun episode. He puts out a ton of great content. Link is in the podcast command. Ooh, another title player. So I'll probably play this person in the first game. And you have to think about my like aggressive hey, repertoire. Eric, recently 10, watched your new nine, slow run episode. Eight, Looking forward seven, to the one thousand to fifteen hundred range. Four, Congrats on two hundred and fifty k. Thank you, Ember. All right, here we go. He is close to his first GM. Thank you, Phaedrus. Oh, uh, let me turn off Zen mode. <laughs> I had Zen mode from yesterday. And uh, let's play... Let's play E4. We have Sicilian. Might as well play a Smith Mora. Let's see how well my opponent is prepared. I don't know any theory here. Opponent's blitzing out moves too. It's kind of scary. Bishop d5 looks maybe playable, although I think I'll play bishop c2. Rook e1. That's yeah, very scary with opponent blitzing out moves. Kind of going based on feel here. This d6 square looks very juicy. I'll plop a knight in there. Has some potential against h7. And maybe h4 to start. f6 might be coming. I feel like there's a decent amount of compensation, though. I'm calculating f4 h6 or h4 h h4 f6 and then what to do maybe i go back there's also queen d3 the most expensive chess set which includes diamonds and emeralds Ooh. is worth more than 9.8 million dollars wow Frozen youtube i recently played on the wobbly chess set but that was a bit less than 9.8 million. All right, let's play rook c1. It's the only open file on the board. I'm down a pawn here. This knight isn't really doing much damage. I think I just have to trade, unfortunately. It's not really what I want. Yeah, I feel like there's less compensation now. Uh, play a4, maybe a3. I'm just trying to be solid. And queen d4 potentially coming. It's also a question what black is doing here. Thank you, H. Bazi. Knight B6. It's a good move. And now there's some scope along the D file. 
I do over defend the pawn. I attack the knight. Uh, maybe bishop d1 at some point. Like knight c4, bishop d1. Not super pretty. Actually, knight c4, I can take, take it uh, a few times. So I do win back the pawn. I do allow black to damage my structure, but h4 is defended. Up on time now. I no longer have to worry about the bishop. But I do have to worry about my king. Yeah, that's a great move. H5. I mean, a6 is hanging, so maybe I start with this. And then take on a6. Preventing rook c8, which could be useful. The king wants to come to e2. Yeah, that's a good move. Maybe rook e4. Maybe check first. The idea with checking first is I prevent the queen from coming to c1. And it's ready to come back maybe to c3 to defend. Good move. Okay, this defends the two pawns which were attacked. Very geometrical position. Now I want to push my pass pawn. Rook here I can take. Oh, wow. There is a line where we both make new queens. I would have queened first, but I feel like I have to stop back from queening. Maybe b4 now. Oh, b4 is not legal. What about this move? Okay, forcing the queen trade. Yeah, now it's a winning position. Or is it? Okay. <laughs> Final position, I think, is winning. Although, what a game, man. Final position is drawn according to the engine. I would have had to sack the rook, and then it's still kind of a race. King b6. Still super complex. Yeah, there is a funny line... I really wanted to go for it. it was this, 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 and then this. But this is losing for white. Even though it's my move, this king is much safer than this king. What a start to the tournament. Not the cleanest game by any means. So maybe maybe not the most interesting game according to Kramnik. But uh, it was a fascinating game. <laughs> Thank you, Hugh Myring Bro, uh, a new Prime sub. Oh, I should uh, disable Zen mode to change my settings. All right, let's Berserk. And we'll see if I can get some Berserking points. Chess is just a very long tactic which ends in a draw. Yeah, very complex tactic. Congrats for 250k uh -oh. followers. Keep going and growing. Wait, I'm supposed to be playing aggressive chess. Okay, let's sack a piece. Super Emetic Rosen. <laughs> I forgot the theme of this uh this stream. Okay, aggressive chess incoming. My pawns want to connect five. Thank you, Sipper T. Okay, look at my pawns now. This is more like it. Oops, I just blundered. Opponent doesn't punish me. So how to evaluate this position? I have to stop the knight from coming here. 
F4 might be coming. If not F4, maybe I play E5 and then Bishop C6. Bishop C6 immediately. Queen H4, H6. I think I want to put this rook here. Support my center pawns. Yeah, white wanted to play this. Wow. Okay, so I win back the piece. And now I'm up a pawn. Well, this, this pawn is maybe a goner, but maybe not. Take with this. Knight defends a bishop, also attacks this bishop. And takes, 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 takes. Life is confusing. Thanks for the raid. Hey, it's Axer Typo. Shout out to Axer Typo. I don't have much time to be grateful. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's take in Bishop B7. I think Axer Typo is just streaming a uh, blindfold Scrabble. If you're just joining, this is non blindfold chess. Rook d2, bishop e3. Some issue with my... I just blundered a piece. Oops. Hi, Eric. Thank you for streaming. You make my evenings better when you stream. Oh, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm hitting both rooks. So I have 20 seconds left. Not the easiest of situations. And that was probably not a great move. Oh no. Well played. Good luck, Eric. I need it here. Could really use the good luck. Opponent struggling though. Opponent may be nervous. Can they mate with king and rook? Dirty flag incoming maybe. But which way? Who's getting flagged? Okay. Dirty flag achieved. What a weird game. Uh, I let the pawn push too far. I thought I was doing okay. I should have played uh, this move. I guess like I already was preparing to move my rook back, expecting rook a3. And then it didn't cross my mind that I can just put the rook behind the pawn. And then here, the issue is, actually here, I could have played king, I could have hit on h7. So king e8 was a blunder, then rook b8 is unstoppable. Or the only way to stop it was to take on, on a7. Very nice. Okay. So I lost some rating. Could have been worse, though. Thank you, Axer Typo. Shout out to Josh. 
Happy belated birthday to Josh. So 50 first place. Undefeated, though. Top two are paused. Playing this person. So Berserking didn't really pay off there. I'll try and play like the most aggressive thing possible against the Pirates, which is uh, Austrian attack. Just putting a lot of pawns in the center. We're getting a position, I have a bit more space on the king side. I also have this square to work with. Which is a bit reminiscent of the first game I played in the tournament. My knight landed here, supported by the pawn. But it still takes work to actually make use of the knight. And bishop f8 might come at some point. It might be six. I play bishop e3. Thank you, Geo Fafa. So doing well on time here. The position looks pretty stable. E6 could be a target. Like yeah, knight g5 immediately attacks a pawn. Maybe prepares this. Queen e7 coming. Wow. So the bishop does support the knight. Um, kind of confused here. Queen h4, h6. Can't take too much time. Can just take first. So bishop takes, I win the knight. King takes, I win the queen. So queen has to take. I'll just move back. Okay, I want a piece. I want a complete development of my queenside pieces. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Rook F1 coming. Or Rook E1. So Knight and G6 are both. Okay, now G6 is attacked. Everything's defended. Rook c8 will walk into a fork. I still have to deal with this pawn. Probably rook d1. Maybe knight f2 or this. Knight g3, knight f1, possibly. Or my knight just attacks the pawn, which I kind of forgot about. Yeah, I'll be winning the pawn next move. Okay, up on time. Queen g3 coming. Probably this. Um, or this. There's almost some stalemate traps for black, but not quite. Okay.
$25.99. Got the berserking points. Thank you, Zoom Zoom, for the win. That's my goal this tournament, to Zoom Zoom. But every game has been a fight so far, and especially that second game. Oh, is this new? With the, um, you can see which games were berserked. Okay. Going for the berserking streak. Also going for a Stafford. But we have a four knights instead. I've been getting similar openings in like my, uh, my speedrun videos. Most recent speedrun I posted earlier today, I showed the typical idea of like pin the knight and then attack the pinned knight, which we're seeing here. And this is already like very unpleasant for white. I'll take. It's not immediately winning though. The goal is to play knight h5 and knight f4. Yeah, very often the pawn can come here too. White's resisting though. So how to make progress? Always play king b8. Have to be patient here. Defending e5. No queen trade. Maybe the bishop can rotate. Or maybe f5. Yeah, this takes a lot of patience. Like there's ideas of f5 and e4 check. That's probably worth it. Although maybe if takes, I just take with rook first. Here I prepare the double up. Because I can control when the f file opens. And once the f-file does open, the pawns should be targets. And now e4 will come with check. There is f4. And then take, and then take, and... It gets confusing. Wow, look at this line. Okay, so if takes hitting the queen, well, it's not happening. There is some crazy line there. Okay, now I'm shifting the, the, the battery to the f-file. I have this move. Rook is pinned now. Queen's attacked. Queen's almost trapped. If this, I have this. Now this move. And if this pawn... Oh, wait a minute. The pawn can take because the queen defends. But then I have this. Or maybe I have uh, this idea. I think there's going to be enough attacking ideas to... Okay, well now... Yeah, now it should be simple. Attacking the queen and the rook. No mercy. Okay. Duh, I gained zero points. Still twenty five ninety nine. Two K bits if you win the tournament, says Sharma. Okay. I'll try and win the tournament. And I'll still try and play aggressively. Uh let's play reverse Grand Prix. Okay, so with this move, I'm trying to shut out the bishop, although bishop trades itself. Yeah, a lot of the pawn tension now. There's still attacking potential, like bishop, g4, queen wants to come to h5. 
interesting option from White. That didn't really pan out for White, though. Now, start with this move. Very soon I'll look to attack. Yeah, I want to put the queen here. I didn't play queen f7 because knight g5. Probably bishop g4. Okay, now I have f3. Essentially trapping the bishop. And if takes, 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 king g1, it's just mating. Bishop h3 in the end. Doing well on time. So I'm in 21st place. So maybe about 10 points. Ooh. Okay, so bishop h3 is now the threat. Um, still not over. Uh, I guess I'll play bishop h3 and then... Where's the, where's the knockout punch? If I remove the knight then... Oh, I could have taken the knight. Well, maybe I can do so next move. Yeah, because the queen defends g2 in the event of takes. But if pawn takes, I was going to sack the queen and then mate. Okay, top 10. Two points away from first place. This person's paused. Okay. Uh, no berserking, but I'll still try and play aggressively. I'll play c3 Sicilian. It's an aggressive option. d5, let's play knight c3. Now we basically have an advanced French. But I got the knight to c3, which is some nice success. Okay. Bishop c2. Maybe knight e2, just defending. I want to play g4 next. Bishop g5. Looks nice. The king is safe here. And I can really start clamping down. The goal is to win the h-pawn and then queen my own h-pawn. Oh no, my d pawn. Someone call an ambulance. But not for me. <laughs> A typical French tactic. Okay. Back over 2600. Also in third place now. A couple people above me. Oh, playing the leader. Yeah, taking a break from berserking but not taking a break from the Stafford Gambit. The first Stafford of the tournament for me. Um, yeah, it's risky going into this. Let's play bishop f5. With this line, I'm seeking like, more long-term compensation. Threatening this and queen h4. Maybe knight, knight b6 first. Okay, some aggression here. Ideas to Queen's Eye Castle, also preventing d4. I mean, white's objectively better, probably. I'm still trying to make the most of this. I'm preventing pawn d4, and probably the goal is to 
try and win this pawn, which might be hard to do. The pawn's defended twice, but it's a bit overextended. Ah, bishop e6. So I have to play rook d6, which isn't pretty. I do prevent bishop there. Yeah, it's really not pretty. Take... I think I'm losing material. C3, Queen, E5. Here I can take and defend. I want to play an 5 if I get the chance. I'm just down rook for bishop. Don't want to trade queens, but I might have to. Is f4 coming? A7 is playable. Okay, 93 ideas. I'm down a pawn and the exchange. But I have an octopus. It has eight tentacles. Bishop. Hmm. Here's just this. A positional sacrifice. Some tactics. Down in time, though. Not sure how I survived that. Tricky, tricky. A super risky move.
Ah, uh, uh, good game. That was a close one. Uh, got a little bit too long on time there. Thank you, Blind Dylan. Are you not a political person? Thank you, you Comb Over Cowboy. I approve either way. Just curious. Yeah, I have too much, too many other things in life to focus on rather be than politics. Aggressive. Okay, time to be, be aggressive. Uh, Berserk, 22 minutes left. Uh, Ponziani time. Opponents disconnecting after every move. Okay, let's play this. Maybe having some internet issues, yeah. It's a good position though. Oops. Actually, this might work out. Queen C2 maybe coming. Yeah, because I hit the rook. Oh, there's rook E7. Okay, there's still compensation. Okay, winning back the pawn. It could take a little while to win this. It's slightly better for white because this pawn is weak. I mean, I would like to go for a quick attack. So maybe rook c4, rook g4 to defend this pawn first. Yeah, it's hard for the rooks to do much. Controlling b6. Threatening this now. It's allowing this. Bishop d4. Okay, up on time. Threatening both pawns. Yeah, this is really not the best position to try and win quickly. And the strategy here is now to get the king in. Eventually, yeah, just win the pawn. And start pushing. Okay. Okay, that worked out. So fifth place. Yeah, that was a very key game. I have to root for this person. It's actually interesting position. Oh, blundered rook c1 though. Okay. Work is cut out. Stafford Gambit time. Okay, let's play a four knights. I have a center fork trick. Yeah, this looks scary, but the king gets tucked away. H6 will come. And then bishop g4. Some knight d4 idea. Maybe I could have played the last move. Okay, now I have this move. Knight's attacked and pinned. 
Oh, that move maybe saves white. Yeah, white's kind of getting out of this. Should still be good. I have the bishop pair. Mm. Preventing that f4. Okay, that's a free knight. And bishop's hanging now. Okay. Yeah, I have to try and win quickly. 10 points out of the first. Oh, I might play this person again, actually. Oh, not quite. Thank you, J-Tank. J-Tank or J-Tonk? Also, maybe we'll have a Ponziani again. Or maybe something else. Maybe a, a Belgrade. D4, knight, d5. Yeah, this is already pleasant. Play h4. Don't really want a queen trade. Even though it's probably... It's probably best. Uh, anything else? Maybe this move. Queen seven's coming. Yeah, that wasn't best. I'm trying to avoid trades. Not a five on tap. There's still attacking potential, even though queens are off the board. Rook can come to the e file. Maybe this idea. Hmm. Moving a little bit too slowly. And this move is now available. Calculating this and then this. G3. It's still tricky. It still looks good, though. I could have taken here. There we go. F5 incoming. Not easy to stop. King F8 runs into rook D7. King D8 runs into rook E6. And now the knight's hanging. Well, 43 is a big number. Hey, happy 43 to Flano. Okay. 
Mate should be coming soon. Okay. No time to waste. Oh, wow. So first place lost a game. So in second, on a streak. Yeah, welcome back to Flano. 43 months. This is going to be a close finish. In the next, next game is very crucial. Playing Muhammad. Gonna hold off on berserking. Play reverse London. Hmm. Idea some some idea might be four and these squares are weak now. Can I exploit them though? Okay, well, winning material, good start to the game. Trading a lot too. Probably don't want to trade darks for bishops. I probably mishandled this a little bit. Wow. Oh, that's super strong. Okay, somehow survived that. Man, that took work. Took a lot of work there. Eight minutes left.
Okay, this uh, person in first place is struggling, which is a good sign. But I'm four points behind. Berserk. I gotta play super aggro. I know this is maybe not the most aggressive opening, but uh, it's maybe going to lead to something. Yeah. yeah. H5. Not to do this. The goal is to eventually check me on each two. I'm getting closer. I think I want to play rook f6 and then g5. Okay, now I'm threatening this. That's not quite mating though. Okay, well, this looks pretty good. Threatening this and this, and even like this. <laughs> okay, that was a nice game. First place for the first time in the tournament. Person in second lost their streak. So it's looking good. But it's still going to be close. Time for hopefully at least two more games. Have an Alakine. Um, Bishop, Bishop E2, I guess. If knight takes maybe h4. And this is a super super aggro way of playing. Yeah, the queen doesn't really help because h5 supported a bunch. Interesting. Bishop e3. Yeah, the hope is to get one more game after this. Uh, take. Okay, let's start with this. Mm. Like almost meeting. Not seeing it though. Oh, I got passed again too. Yeah, and we're trading queens. Materials equal here. Okay, there is a trick here, here. Oh, it doesn't work though. I have to play f4 first. Uh, that didn't really work. Wow. The person is extending their lead too. Okay, going for the quick mate, rook h7. Okay. 
Ah. To play this first. I might not even win this game. It's super tricky. I'm trying though. Rook H7 on tap. Okay, I should win on time. Okay, please don't close the pairings. Wow, okay. If I Berserk win, I tie for first. Might not be enough, though. Have to win quickly. Stafford Gambit time. Hmm. Opponent is d4. Allowing this check. Play this first. Check. Oh, where's the mate? Not seeing the mate. Check. Super frustrating. Not seeing it. Okay. I don't think this game is counting for the tournament. No, okay. Well, now it's just a matter of trying to win the game. If Rook takes Knight, it's uh, checkmate. If that, it's not quite checkmate. Maybe. No, I don't have much time. Uh, oh, let's play this and then... Oh, actually, that doesn't work. Let's just win or trade. Opponent wanted a draw there, but yeah, I'm going to try and win this. Thank you, Chess Kim. I appreciate the sub. Yeah, should be enough time. Fancy. We are trading a bit more now. Second place bits. Thank you, Swarma. Your blindfold. Quack, 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 quack. Let's go, Rosen. I don't have time to find my blindfold right now. I'm kind of making a mess out of this, too. 
Like it should be okay though. Oh no. I made a big mess out of this. Okay. <laughs> oh, what to do? Back to tournament. I still finished in second. What's your goal in life? Uh, goal in life is to have fun. Which I think I accomplished, even though uh, wasn't wasn't the best finish. It was a, a fun series of games, though. Had some nice streaks at various points. Yeah, what to do? I definitely wasn't the cleanest final game. <laughs>